the queen from creating the show uh, initially has always been a show that we wanted to resonate with our audience. It's a show that we always uh, were very intentional in making sure that we have all elements um, of emotions in it. And our DNA has always been mix the action with the drama, with the humor. And the idea is always get the audience in a roller coaster ride. So, um, first of all, this is by far, uh, for me, the best intriguing script I've read in a long time. Even before reading the script, just coming up with the concept of, of the Queen um, with our head writers, it was the most exciting, most highly anticipated project that we've ever worked on. Um, I remember when we made, when actually they made the decision, I didn't make this decision of the fact that I was going to play Harriet Koza. <laughs> Find out what the hell is going on out there. Offer a reward if you have to. How much? Enough to make them talk. The funny thing is, most of our characters on The Queen are the exact opposites of who they are in real life. But if I were to pick one or two, um, I think Temba Ndaba, who plays Baba Mgani Brutus, is, is the least like his character. Like Temba's a gentleman, you know, he's very soft-spoken. Um, very well spoken, extremely intelligent. And then you have Papamani Brutasi, who is completely uncultured, um, doesn't know when to hold his tongue. <laughs> Is very loud, loves women, and his busha, as he calls it. Um, the direct opposite of who Temba is. And then another one that I can think of is Mr. Shaw, who plays Jerry Marke. Um, Sean is a dude, you know? I mean, yes, Gabuti and all, but he's, he's a dude, he's cool, he loves your hip hop. And then you have Jerry, who is very robotic, um, very set in his ways, very OCD. Jerry Marke has been one of the most loved characters on the show. And it's, it, it's, it's because of two reasons, I believe. Uh, number one, it's, um, it's a character that I've never played before in the years I've been in this industry. I've always played the macho, uh, ladies' man uh, kind of characters before. So seeing me as an actor do something completely different, uh, somebody who's a nerd, um, somebody who's not really a ladies' man, somebody who's who's quite awkward. Well, firstly, for me, it was mostly about how we can enhance performance um, and how we can translate this the this screen, this the script, uh, performance-wise, to translate into what people want to hear. Um, how are we going to make this different from the previous season? And I feel like what my personal touch was was to change and tweak the script. Um, but the most difficult thing that we're experiencing is the climate of when we are shooting it. Obviously, there's COVID-19. We are under the regulations that people should not touch, should not kiss. All of that as directors, we have to tiptoe around to make sure that it still sends a message of social distancing. So, especially when you are dealing with a, a high action impacted sort of series like this, it's very difficult to shoot it that people don't physically interact or physically touch when they when when they when they do an action. Hey, come on! So we're shooting uh, end of scene, uh, end of season four. Uh, so this is the finale of season four. There's a lot going on, so the causes are kind of caught with their pants down in a way. And uh, yeah, there's a new threat that comes in, and no one really knows what the hell's going on or why it's happening. Uh, it's just a matter of survival at this point. Ferguson Films as a production is bringing something completely 
uh, fresh with season five. Um, the first thing is we, we brought in a whole new family. Hello, what do you do? It's Ndando Duma, I feel like you already know. Should we go back to the question of who I would play? I don't know. <laughs> no, you just, you ask that question and you just show me laughing. I don't know, Petronella. Why not join up and use the company as well? Suppose I know my name, Uh, no, you will not. Uh, I play the character Georgina. My name is Vuyon Mugana. I play the character of Shumaka, who is uh, Lumko Toto. I will be playing the character of Mpo Sibata. My name is Jessica Ngosi, and I play Tando Sibata. The biggest challenge about taking on this role has definitely been to play it in a way that that is very authentic and relatable to whoever I could say Schumacher is in real life. Um, I, I feel like that sometimes, but I just don't know how to express it. So Schumacher does that where he says things that people wish that they could say. I will say people that are bi in particular, you know, because we still have a lot of stigma attached to, to how people are, Schumacher lives freely and without shame. So that is the one thing that I think that is, is very challenging in bringing forward without, because when you say gay, people already think camp and Schumacher's not camp. With um, each character, I tried to create someone new, you know, someone that audiences haven't experienced with, uh, within my, my acting style. So for me, it wasn't, it wasn't hard to transition to Georgina because it was something different and it was an opportunity for me to play something totally different, totally out of my, my domain. Hey, we're girls, we like to slay. So you know what, if I'm gonna play a slay queen, bring it, let's see how it goes. So yeah, I think it's that type of attitude that I just um, walked into it with. I am, I'm very excited to join um, a new cast, just being in a new space as well. And the challenge, of playing a new character and being in a new environment. Um, I love it. Wow, yes. There's a lot that you're going to, to get from Georgina season five. There's a lot of action, which I love. A lot of drama. Well, I mean, I've been on the show since uh, it's about four years. Yeah. Um, in the four years, we've kind of had a lot of shootouts. So I've been learning, but before we started the show, I went for training, for gun training. I still don't get used to it. Uh-uh. And maybe because I don't like guns generally, even now I'm feeling shaky. You know, it's black, so I'm just gonna get courage, but... We had, um, we had this beautiful um, feeling and texture when we were new on the scene in season one. And I think what season five does is that it is the rebirth of of the queen we have a new character coming on board who's occupying the space that jerry Maggie did in the police station and that is the phenomenal rapuliana sipen um rapuliana joins the show as what i would call uh, the biggest pain in the behind hector sabata is the new colonel uh, as he says uh, himself in his very massive, flamboyant intro, he says, there's a new sheriff, no sheriff in town. In town. This sheriff is on the side of the law. Ah! 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 Ah!